It's been a fun good afternoon all. I am in Burlington, Vermont today, and this is Burlington High School. Let's see what updates I can offer as I walk towards these front doors. This is Patricia, and I am traveling through history. I just saw some people walking their dog here, so. Now recently, there was a crane that had been parked here. I watched them lift pallets up onto the roof. It looks like they are removing the HVAC systems from the roofs. I see that the bell is still here. That is not a good sign. And, and also, what's incredibly disrespectful is this bronze plaque for Paul S. Daniel, which is also still here. And uh, I had been informed by my escort that all the bronze plaques were going to be removed and put into storage, and then this bell was going to be restored. And I, as you can see from the edges, it needs the work done to it. This came from a school, a Burlington High School, let's see, three schools back. And that, that one has been demolished. We can see, perhaps you can't see it, perhaps you can't see it quite yet. Um, there are, do you see that on the front doors? Each of those doors has, um, has, um, what's it called? Pieces of lumber so that some people are not using these doors. So let's take a look and see. I read uh, recently that these corridors, now when I was in school, these corridors were, were mother of pearl, freezing cold in the winter time and uh, uncomfortably hot other times of the year because they're not insulated. And even worse, because that wasn't bad enough, um, they're now leaking when it rains. Oh my gosh. Jeez, oh Pete. Also read that the, um, some parts of these buildings are really hot or really cold in the winter time because the, I'm guessing there are issues with the insulation I find it interesting, this is all wet. Um, guessing there's some leakage here too. But uh, let's just take a quick look-see inside these windows again. Oh, oh, they removed that handicap ramp. I think you can see that. And, um, And all those, um, the ladder and the boxes of stuff, they appear to have been removed. Let's go to the next uh, door. Oh, oh, those windows are covered. And uh, this one, those windows are covered too. I find that fascinating. Do you? I wonder why they would cover those windows. What would be the purpose in that? Because clearly, and as I just said, these windows are covered, and uh, just so you get a better idea, but we can see that uh, this door, these two doors over here are actually open, wide open, but because the lumber is right here on each of the doors, no one's gonna be entering or exiting from here, and these are screwed in, screwed in as well. Huh. I still don't have a demolition date to offer you. Um, I've given up asking, to be honest, because uh, I'm guessing they don't know. Now, when I spoke to the receptionist at um, EnviroVantage, she said that the that company was going to be up here for months. Because once they demolish the building, they're going to remediate the the uh, ground underneath because it's also been contaminated uh, by polychlorinated by phenols and that's why this school is being demolished that's the primary reason but you know it's also very hard to maintain um it's uh it's 000 square feet the new high school to be built will be 250,000 square feet so interesting stuff
I don't know who else would be working in here at this point. I don't know if they're still cleaning anything to remove it. The problem is I just don't know. And uh, there's no information available. I can assure you the school district does not take my calls, doesn't respond to emails either. Um, challenging folks to try to deal with. Um, so I was curious about that. I am disturbed that the bell is still here, though. I'm very disturbed about that. But uh, a friend who, who's, um, who's a family construction business did say that sometimes it does fall to the demolition company to remove heavy things like the bell. And I, I would imagine it weighs hundreds of pounds. Alrighty. On that note, thanks so much for coming with me today. As uh, I was wondering how it looked in there. Wish I could get in. Imagine by this point they've removed all the asbestos from inside. Understand it's both the floor tiles and the ceiling tiles that were asbestos and had to be re removed, abated, uh, prior to demolition because that has to go into a different kind of uh, trash system. Can't be mixed with regular trash. So, this is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. I really appreciate you coming along with me. And... Um, We'll see how this progresses. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.